Okay, the Beano Black, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what, the moon rose at 3.40 a.m. in Hawaii on the 19th of January 2012, okay? 3.40 a.m., Hawaii Standard Time, 19th through 12, okay? That's what time the moon rose over there, okay? Now, here we go to the video. This is going to blow you. Because basically I've got it froze right now at like 4, the 20th, 4, and this is the hour right there, okay, so that's hour, this is minutes, okay, these are not flipping airplanes. If you watch over here towards here, I think the airport's over here, all this stuff is going to come across the sky. First off, we're going to show you that this is not the flipping moon, and I'll even pull in Jupiter's rise time here real fast, okay, but let's watch what comes up. Because basically it's going to come up over here. Keep your eye over here. It's what we've been seeing before, but it's moved farther to the north, I believe. Okay, well, that would be east is where the sun comes up also, I think. So, or if it's coming up in the west. I, 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 have, I really have never paid attention to what this comes up at. Okay, but you see that basically it's came up at 434.48. Not the three something, okay? So that's not the moon. And the moon stays pretty low. It, I don't know where it's at on this. I don't even really care. But the moon's pretty low. It's under 60 degrees or something like that. Okay, so as we see that come up, and when we hit the player later, and you're going to see some of these objects that are flying around, and you see that we have a that big old reflection way the hell up there. But as you see that this thing has either moved farther north or south. Okay, it's hard to tell. But actually... It's beginning to believe, well, we'll know when we see the sun come up, I guess. Okay, but that's not the sun. As you see, it's 5.41.08 a.m. That's not the flipping sun. Okay? And we'll get the sunrise in, too, what time the sun came up. Okay, and as you see there, at this time here, that should be, we believe, uh... Well, we know it's probably Supergiant Sun. But the Sun's in the Supergiants, too. Okay? So, that should be the Sun coming up somewhere, but we don't think we'll end up seeing it. So, that does come up from the Supergiants before this, the Sun in the Supergiants. So, that is a star out of the Supergiants that's coming down at that early hour. Okay? And I don't know if we'll get that. The Sun should be rising over here to the right, but I don't think we're going to see it. It's just going to clip out and go away. Okay? So, there comes the Sun. Okay? So now at the beginning of the video, you got the shadows that are in front of the sun. Okay, as the sun goes down to the west. Okay, so the sun goes down in the west there in Hawaii, which would be normal. Okay, so as you see the sun go down to the west, it's the same shot. So that super giant sun is coming up in the flipping west in the middle of the morning. Okay, now. I'm going to play, and basically I'm not playing no games. So just see all that stuff, fast that stuff comes around. Okay, now watch. The clock ain't going that fast. We're going to we'll be able to stop it here and watch the minutes, okay? The 19th to date, 18th to hour, and then that minutes is coming along. Okay, now we're going to start getting these objects flying across the sky faster than... You see that? Okay, now watch the minutes. That's only, okay, the 11 minutes... That's 13 minutes, 15. So just watch that minutes, and then watch, bam, gone. I don't know what the time was, but you can watch that clock. It's only a couple minutes that I'm getting on clicks, okay? And then these objects just keep on shooting by. Now there is going to be, I'm going to let it play, and there are going to be asteroids. See all this stuff? Now that one is what I'm kind of wondering. And it, it, this all adds up to the idea of all this Phobos thing. Because if you, anybody's been tracking Phobos before, like I showed way back in my videos, the idea of Phobos is way out doing astronomical looks, going through space, whether it's screwed up or not. They're just cruising by a bunch of planets. Now, there's been a lot of light propagation over here in this corner to the right, too. If you watch down here. Now, that, I don't know if it could be the airport or not, but if you watch the minutes, it looks too fast to even be in a short little distance to be airplanes down over there. Let me get back over to this about right here. So watch down in that right-hand corner, all that flashing going on. 
because as that flashing keeps on going on in this right hand corner real low. Now I know that there's some stuff on the coast before that we've seen, okay? But all this that's in the sky right now, low, and then way to the right, and then that this came up in the west because you just saw a minute a few minutes ago that we know that that basically is the sun that went down in the west. Okay? And then since that is to the right hand corner over there to the west now that just came up in the west because we know we've seen the sun go down in the west over there at the very end of this in the very very early morning what the flip that's the super giants so what the hell okay because we're going to start this out and you're going to see the sun go flipping down because it's the 1700 oh okay hang on Okay, now I apologize because I'm not going to take time to redo the whole recording, folks. Okay, this 1800 hour, you see this is 1800 hour? Okay. So that was the super giants. No, 1800 hour would be 17 to 18. No, that is, that's the, the sun going down to the west. So the sun's down and here comes nighttime. Yeah, so it's all correct. There is no correction. Sun goes down in the west, and all this action is coming across the sky, and you get that sun from the supergiants coming up. And if you watch the video just before this, they got something flashing below Earth, and Jupiter, and everything on that H1, what was it, H1A or H, yeah, H1A, I think, shot. So we got stuff happening, and ain't nobody telling us nothing. Isn't it nice we pay our taxes? Isn't it nice? It's a little bit they don't tell us the diddly from NASA. You can run around on webcams and uh, astronomers' webcams like this one. We love the Canadian action, and I think this is the Canadian French, if I'm correct. Uh, I apologize big time. Uh, yeah, Canadian French, Hawaii, CFHT, I think. Uh, so, awesome, fast asteroids, meteors coming by. Now, there is, through this, the, there was some asteroid way up high, right there, there was just one. Okay, so let me back that up for just a second. You're going to see that there are some that shoot way up, way the far out in space. Okay, there's some. And there was one earlier too. There was one. Okay, so very interesting footage here from over in Hawaii. Like I say, all this right hand, very low corner. And as you see, let me stop and freeze that so people can pick that up. You would see that terahydrin, tetrahydrin in front of the. And, and it's like, we're getting maybe. Sorry about the mic action. We're probably getting more than one of these supergiant suns now. Okay? And Taurus, and Taurus, and that. Because if you watch this right hand corner, you're going to see that bubble in front, kind of like action. Before this came up, just before this in the video, I'm going to back it up to there, and I think we'll catch this. Right here, you can watch there. See that? So there's one of them over there to the right, folks. Okay, you can't miss it, unless the idea that when it comes up, when we're going to see there come up, does it start off when it's changed that, what we have seen of kind of like a natural flipping, because there it is, there's the front of it, right there. Okay, and then here it comes, I think it'll be coming. That might have been a planet, but I don't know, I really think it's the front of that, how we've always seen it like this here, we have over here, shooting out the other side of it, over there on that side of it. So no matter what, that ain't the flip of the sun. Okay? And then it dramatically goes ahead to like 6 in the morning. Okay? So watch the clock on that because this is 3, 4, 5. That's not the flipping sun coming up. Because the sun's below. That's the sun there. That's super giant. Because we see the sun go down in the west. As you see the sun is going down in the west. Okay? Okay, so the west is behind the camera. So it's coming up in the east. So there's a sun that's coming up before the sun comes up in the morning. It's that simple. And it's what we've seen before. And it's getting in alignment now with the sun. So now in the future we probably won't be able to catch it on camera again. Okay? Because that's what it is. And I think there's enough time on the recording here that 
basically when you're looking at this clock over here that's where the sun went down in the west behind the camera pretty much okay the sun went down okay and then there is a sun that comes up before the sun at six o'clock okay if we keep watching you're gonna see that that little sun came up and it's moved itself over it was farther to the northeast of the sun okay because you're going to see that big overhang is the sun in the supergiants that comes up over the horizon and when we see this that comes up right here that's not the sun and as I showed you on the chart it's not the flipping moon okay and we know Jupiter and stuff like that doesn't come up that bright and big either okay and we see now it comes now that's not the sun that is a sun out of the supergiants because you're going to see the whole horizon, the supergiants, the rest of them in the sun coming up right there. Okay? That's sunrise in the east. Okay? So we know that this, because there's the sun going down back that way. Okay? The sun's going back down over here to your right where the hand, where I've got my hand thing going. That was the sun and then going in the west behind the camera. And then that's the sunrise in the east right here and also that this object that we used to see coming up over here we used to see it coming up over here is now started to come up over here towards right in front of the sun or actually a little bit right of the sun now probably because as I speed this up so I get it all in the video that you're gonna see it come up to the right of the sun or in front of it because then you're going to see that goes away and now the sun starts to come up below it so there's your little baby sun that's coming out of the supergiants. And yeah, the sun coming up that big, that's supergiants. See? With the sun. Okay, so central time, there's four hours difference between Hawaii, okay, and 8.38 standard time, central standard time, okay? So four hours you do, okay? Watch. So we go to what rose and what time it did. Jupiter and Venus, okay? basically we're setting in the west okay and they set at 409 and 118 p.m. so watch that in the video okay that's what time p.m. okay so all that a.m. action folks is exactly what we know it to be it's the more than likely the same baby sun or there maybe there's two baby suns but we know for sure more than likely it's the baby sun that we've been seeing at Nehemiah or there's possibly two of them and it comes up underneath the earth in Antarctica and then you end up seeing it in Hawaii that I just showed you and we've been showing you for a long time and it's moved farther towards the southeast ladies and gentlemen okay so there's your constellations and what when it what came up and it's like I showed you in earlier videos too we know Jupiter is bigger than Venus okay so there's your constellations and that's what the times that it came up Venus and Jupiter Okay. The next rises will be on the 18th, I mean the 20th, uh, okay. And okay, we'll finish up down here at Palau. And basically you're going to see that this is basically orbs, folks. This is not weather, this is orbs. And this stuff's getting really low to the ground down in Antarctica. Okay, it's bottom art. And then check this stuff out. It's not weather. The snowflakes are not that big. The ice doesn't come falling from the sky. These are like the orbs that you've seen in Arizona on those orb shots earlier this year. Okay, people were showing these orbs that were in Arizona. People were freaking out. Well, after I see this, I believe it because that's not weather, folks. Those are not snowflakes. This is what those orbs is basically what like star clusters that we've seen before. So there's an asteroid belt. So I back up if you watch the clock here. This stuff is very interesting, and there's something that comes streaking across the sky here in a minute too. Okay, so I just got to click through this because the player is just not really doing what it's normally supposed to do. But these are all orbs, folks, as you can see and watch the clock. You see these? And this is that stuff that I was telling you I was seeing at Casey Station. Back up some more here. So I know we got like a minute. We can probably get all this in. But these are orbs. It's not snow. As you see, it's coming down from the sky. It's an asteroid belt. And, oh, NASA told us, oh, there's not going to be any asteroid belt anywhere near us anytime soon. And now we find out we're basically at all time the closeness is to all kinds of stuff. In our 365 days around the sun, no. It's starting to look like the 3,000 and some odd years around in space. Supergiants and 
everything. So keep watching this stuff, and then there was something that, there it goes. There's an asteroid like that halo. Have a good weekend.